Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Friday, May 13th, 2022, and I am coming on here with an interesting video. Um, if you guys are on YouTube at all, you have seen this going around and you saw the title. It's 23 non-yarny things, but I think it should be more like 23 non-yarny favorite things because <laughs> that's what these questions are asking. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose and I like to crochet. I like yarn a lot. I make stitch markers, but this video is not about that. So <laughs> what happened is, and I don't know who started it, but someone started a tag of asking yarny people what their 23 favorite non-yarny things are. So I was tagged by the fabulous fi Fiber Spider, uh, and uh, you should go and watch his video for sure to see what his answers are. And uh, so I'm gonna do that. Um, yeah, so we're going to get started. So I have a list and what I'll do is I will leave the list down below in the description box. So if you guys want to do it, feel free to do that. And I have 10 people to tag at the end of this because I want to hear what everyone has to say. So um, I have the list here on my iPad and we're just going to get right into it. Okay, now some of you guys might know some of the answers, but I don't... I. I don't know, we'll see. Let me know down below in the comment section if any of these you knew, okay? <laughs> All right, so number one is my favorite color. I don't even know if I have to say that. Do I have to say it? Okay, my favorite color is purple. Uh, number two, my favorite music is country music. Number three, my favorite food. Do I have to say it? <laughs> okay, it's chocolate. <laughs> There's a close second and that would be like seafood. So like shrimp and lox and salmon and um, any kind of fishy stuff. So um, just so you know, that's my second favorite, but you can't send that stuff in the mail. <laughs> All right, my, number four, my favorite soda. I try not to drink it, but my favorite soda is root beer. And number five, my favorite animal. Well, we do call this place a zoo over here, but my favorite animal would have to be a dog. And my doggy's name is Camo. He is a rescue dog. And he is my favorite thing in the whole wide world besides my daughter. And he's getting old. So um, <laughs> I'll insert a picture here so you guys can see him. Okay, so number six is favorite holiday, and I do not have a favorite holiday. Uh, I uh, do not celebrate things like Easter or Christmas, um, so I'm going to say I do not have one. Uh, the number seven is my favorite book, and I actually uh, don't have a favorite book, but I have a favorite author, and it would I would actually say my favorite book would be anything by this author, and that would be Stephen King. And if you guys aren't aware... Erica, the lopsided crafter. Um, I know this is not supposed to be yarn related, but um, I'm going to give her a plug. Hi, Erica. Um, she actually has a Stephen King yarn club, so go check her out. It's awesome. Okay, my favorite pizza. Um, I do not eat pizza, uh, so there's that. Favorite pastime. Um, well, besides the obvious, <laughs> which is the title of my channel. Uh, I used to scrapbook a lot, but that's not my favorite thing to do anymore. Uh, I like to do triathlons, so we'll just say that triathlons are my favorite pastime. Uh, favorite TV show? I don't watch TV. Favorite fruit? So I'm going to have to say it's a toss-up. Again, I know we're only supposed to pick one, and people always say that this is not a fruit. Some people say it's a vegetable, but I'm going to say a tomato. And if I can't say tomato, then I'm going to say avocado. And if I can't say avocado, then I'm going to say strawberries. <laughs> okay, number 12, my favorite vegetable. Um, I really like all vegetables. The only two I can't eat are like broccoli and cauliflower, but I actually like them. So I'm going to say my favorite vegetable is probably carrots. Uh, and that's my daughter's nickname. <laughs> I do like her a lot too. Uh, number 13, my favorite subject in high school. I'm going to say math. Uh, my, number 14, favorite actor or actress. Um, uh, I don't really have a favorite actor or actress. 
I used to work at a video store. You'd think I would have a favorite, but I really, there's not like anything that I have to watch over and over again because of the person in there. Number 15, your favorite singer. Okay, so I don't know if any of you guys are even gonna know who this is, but his name is Seal and it's S-E-A-L. And I've been addicted to him since I can remember. I have even seen him in concert. Um, He's he's just incredible. If you don't know who he is, look him up. Okay, number 16, favorite superhero. Um, I would have to say when I was growing up, I used to watch Wonder Woman with, is it Linda Evans was her name? <laughs> that was pretty awesome. So I'm going to say Wonder Woman, but it's the old Wonder Woman, not the new Wonder Woman. Uh, number 17, my favorite comedian. I don't know. It's a toss up again. I like Will Ferrell, um, but I also like uh, Gabriel Iglesias, uh, Fluffy. Uh, so I think uh, Will Ferrell for like a TV and movie comedian and then uh, Julio, <laughs> Fluffy. Yeah, Fluffy for um, like stand up comedian. Number 18, favorite season. Well, here in Chicago, we only have two seasons. We have winter and summer, and neither one of those is my favorite. <laughs> Springtime is too like too many allergies, so maybe I'd say fall. If we could get a fall here in Chicago, I would vote for fall. Uh, number 19, favorite movie. So this is going to be odd. My favorite movie of all time is Singing in the Rain. Um where they're tap dancing. It's just an amazing, incredible movie. And if you have not seen Singing in the Rain, you should go and see it. Uh, number 20, favorite smell, I would have to say is probably cookies baking. Oh, I mean, I really shouldn't be eating them, but they smell really good. Uh, number 21, my best friend, her name is Amy, but I have a second best friend that I've had since high school and her name is Sharon. So I'm going to say two best friends. My number 22, my favorite decade. Uh, I was not born in this decade, but I'm going to say the 1950s. I love the music. I love um, the cars. I love everything about the 1950s. Number 23, my favorite YouTube channel, and this is obviously not Yarny related, but my favorite YouTube channel is actually Comedy Central. Um, and it's Actually, a toss-up between Comedy Central and Dry Bar. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Dry Bar. Um, Dry Bar is like where they do stand-up comedians in a place in Utah, and they're not allowed to use swear words. It is the I watch it every day. I highly recommend it. <laughs> so those are the 23 favorite non-yarny things. Um, if you would like, if you have a YouTube channel and I don't tag you, please go ahead and uh, do the 23 non-yarny things. And if you're in my Facebook, Facebook group, keep an eye out. I'm going to post some questions, um, either today or tomorrow. So I, I want to hear about what your answers are. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to tag 10 people because these 10 people, I really, really like them and, uh, they are all yarny channels and I want to know more about you guys. So are you ready? Okay. So the first one is Lisa from happy to hook creations. The second one is Sarah Satch. If you guys don't watch her, you should. The third one is Holly at the Proper Pineapple. I love her. The fourth one is Angie at My Fairy Treasures. I'm in love with her too. Uh, the fifth one is Judy's Crafts and Stuff. Uh, number six is Linda Crochet and More. Number seven is Jenny from Jenny's Hobbies. Number eight is a new channel to me. I just found her. Her name is Kenyatta and her channel is called Kenyatta Creates. Number nine is Sarah Lee Crochet and Fabric. And number 10 is EJ's Daughter. So I am challenging all 10 of you guys to do the 23 non-yarny things. And I challenge anyone else to leave a comment and maybe let me know. Um, let's see, what can we say? Maybe let me know what your favorite um, food is. How about your favorite smell? And how about your favorite color? So if you guys can comment down below in the comment section. So we'll do your favorite food, your favorite uh, smell, and your favorite color. So put, the, put your answers down below. And um, hopefully the 10 people that I tagged will see this and you could go and check out their answers. I don't know, in the next week or so. I know it took me forever to do this video. So, so that's all I have for you guys. I hope you have a great weekend and we will talk to you later. Bye.